Hey guys, happy Sunday. So for today's workout of the day, I thought I would do um, a stretching routine that I love to do. Um, usually I take Sundays a little bit easier. This is something that I try to do pretty much every day, like two to three times a day. Usually I'll try to do it before and after training and maybe before and after gym as well. This is a really great one that you can work on your flexibility at home. I find it helps improve not only my flexibility, but really trying to get into the splits, which also helps with my lunging and that kind of thing on court. I know a lot, of, a lot of the boys out there who try and avoid stretching as much as they can, but I think it's really good to help, especially on the badminton court with your lunging and also kind of like stepping, um, reaching back for kind of overhead shots and that kind of thing. So I'll take you guys through a bunch of stretches, mainly for the legs, which I find really help release the glutes, the hips. And I also always do this stretch pretty much as soon as I get off a plane when I can, when I have a long haul flight or even at airports when I'm transiting through Asia or somewhere going to Europe or America or that kind of thing. So I'll show you all the stretches that I do and today I'll only hold them for about 30 seconds. I guess usually when I do do this stretch myself, I would only hold it for that long, but I know you're meant to hold it for longer, but just out of convenience and the number of times I usually do it a day, I just kind of want to get into the stretch and feel that release and I don't need to hold it for so long. I encourage anyone to hold it for up to one minute, two minutes, if it's a spot that really is quite tight for them um, or that they really want to work on. Yeah. So the first stretch I like to do is just a hip flexor one. So what you want to do here is try and get this at 90 degrees and then tuck the pelvis under. So from being like that, you want to tuck it under and feel the stretch through the front of this thigh. So from there, I'll lower down. Slide this foot forward a little bit if you need to. Still trying to keep the pelvis tucked under and feeling the stretch through here. And from there I'll raise this arm and tilt to the side, pulling more down this whole side of my um, back and chest kind of area. And I like to grab this back leg to stretch out this quad. I find that when I get knee pain, it's usually because this quad is tight and also the glute. So releasing that really helps me. Also foam rolling as well. So trying to pull it as close to your butt as you can. I'll go into a hamstring stretch for this leg. Try to push this knee down straight and lower your chest to your knee while keeping this straight and not hunching over too much. So try and think about belly button to the knee as opposed to like chin to the knee. go into a lunge trying to get my elbows to the floor this is very badminton specific I think for a lunge so try and keep this knee close to your body don't let it flare out too much and keep the knee on the ground for now then I'll lift the back knee up And if you can't stay this low, then just stay as low as you can. And then from here, I'll just do a few twists, feeling it through my glute a bit differently. And 
rock backwards and forwards a little bit. Then from here, I'll go into side groin. So feeling the stretch through here. So you want to make sure your knee and your foot are in line and that it's not forward or back. And then push your hips forward here and then push down to the side. So you should feel it through here and maybe like a little bit through there as well. Then from here, I'll straighten this leg, trying to keep the toes downwards, slide out and feel it more through a longer area of my adductor and groin. And from here, I'll go into my favorite stretch, the glutes. I find my hips get like super tight, so this is just a great way that I find to release them. So what, it's kind of a seven, so you want your knee as close to kind of 90 degrees as you can. So some people might be like a bit in there and a bit higher up, but that's all right. So just try and put the weight through this leg if you can and bring it up. I'll do it a bit longer. And then you can also twist into this one as well. So you put the elbow down near this knee, place the hands together, and then try and lift your chest up to the roof. You should feel this stretch through your thigh. If you can't get that low, then just twisting this way more is fine. And that's one leg done. Then you go through and do it all on the other leg. So hip flexor, tucking it under, feeling the stretch through here. pushing the hips down. Raise the arm, leaning over to the side, feeling the stretch down this side. do it next to a bench or something just for balance so I'm not worrying about falling over the whole time or even just a little foam roller sometimes I use that to balance and grabbing the back leg trying to get the heel as close to your bum as possible if you can't reach your back leg then you can grab a towel and hook it around your foot so that you're holding it as high up as you can Still tuck the hips under and not let it stick back too much. Hamstring. Pushing this knee down, trying to make your back flat and belly button to your knee.
the back knee off, straightening that leg out. Doing some twists. into the glute stretch. So we're starting with the foot here and then trying to lower this knee down and trying to lower your hips down. to finish with the both legs so straddle trying to keep the toes back and not let the feet roll in and then just leaning forward try and push up against something to keep your back flat and then try and keep your back straight and knees down. And then the last one is just a Asian squat kind of thing. So do your best to get into this position with your knees out and then try and push them out further just hold this squat. So try and get your heels down on the ground. You're up here. And if you need to, you can place your hands down to try and hold the position. And then from there, if you're feeling super limber, you can go and try your splits. So I like to start here then slide the knee out back and this foot forward, keeping everything this straight and then raise the back leg. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this stretching routine. Um, I hope it gives you something to work on over these next few weeks when we're all indoors and that you can try and maybe loosen up some of those tight areas and help with some of those injuries that you might be carrying. It's actually a good opportunity now to kind of rest the body and get it ready for when we are able to go out and do everything again. <laughs> Bye!